Drivel. I can't understand the point in characters like these. Squirrel Girl is lame. You gotta be kidding me. These are just a few of the comments on my History of Squirrel Girl video. Now, we'll admit, for the most part, people are absolutely lovely regarding this character, but a few people just don't get it. So today on the show, it's my PSA on Squirrel Girl. So, Squirrel Girl. She has defeated a number of cosmic level villains in the Marvel Universe, but we've never actually seen her fight these villains. We usually just see the end of the fight, but characters like the Watcher have confirmed that she has indeed defeated the real thing and not some clone or something like that. And a lot of people are really unhappy that a character like Squirrel Girl can apparently do this with ease. They say that Squirrel Girl is silly, or there's no point to her, and they are absolutely right. That's the point of Squirrel Girl. The point is, there is no point, so there being no point is not a negative thing, and people just need to understand that. Here's the thing. A lot of people are coming into comics off the movies, and the comic industry is booming. Comic shops are doing more events than ever before, and I'm really, really happy about that but a lot of people are coming into comics expecting a movie experience, and they are just not going to get that for the most part. That's a very narrow margin of comics. In movies, superhero seems to be a genre of its own, and it's just a part of the action genre. Whereas in comics, superhero is not a genre so much as an umbrella that encompasses so many genres. You've got comedy, you've got action, you've got everything that you can think of in the superhero umbrella in comics. I think people just need to realise this before they start complaining that the source material is not action-packed constantly, like the movies. So back to Squirrel Girl, what does this have to do with her? Well, I think a lot of people don't realise that some comics are there just for fun, and Squirrel Girl is a character that was made just for fun. She's not supposed to be this badass action heroine, and she's not supposed to be always in danger. She's just fun and weird. I think people just need to realise that superhero comics are not all the same. They just need to read a whole bunch of them and make an educated decision on which ones they like based upon the varying number that they've read. I know a lot of people are going to bring him up, so let's talk about Deadpool quickly. He is another comedy character, and I'm not a huge fan of his, if I'm going to be honest. But the thing is, he doesn't have the apparent cosmic strength of Squirrel Girl, but he was made for comedy. If we compare the two different styles of comedy, you've got Deadpool, whose comedy exists alongside his action. That's the point of the character. He can have these big action scenes and be funny while doing it. When it comes to Squirrel Girl, the fact that she can defeat these cosmic villains is her comedy. That's the joke. She has the ability to communicate with squirrels, has a squirrel-like physique, and has basic fighting skills, and somehow she was able to defeat these huge cosmic villains. That's hilarious. There are a number of different comedy characters in comics at the moment, and it's okay not to like a character because you don't particularly like that style of comedy. But what's not okay is to not be able to identify when you just don't get the joke. A number of people do like Deadpool, and I just don't enjoy the comedy in Deadpool, and that's okay. It's okay not to enjoy a character's style of comedy, and I hope everyone else enjoys it so they can support the artists and the writers that work on the Deadpool comics. So, in conclusion, comics come in all genres, and make sure you recognise that. And don't take comics so seriously, don't take superheroes so seriously. And finally, make sure you get a joke before you decide you don't like the joke. Squirrel Girl has a brand new series coming out next year, in mid-January, I believe, and she has this cosmic level power, but she's about to face her greatest villain ever, college. And it just sounds hilarious and relatable, and I really just can't wait for it to come out. It's super effective! 
Okay guys, that is it for today. Leave a comment down below telling me what you think of Squirrel Girl. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more comics videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon so we can make bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics, and it is super effective.